Okay, everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be filming this makeup look, and it's just a simple everyday makeup look that you can wear every day. The only thing that's really dramatic about it is the eyelashes, but you guys know me, I like dramatic eyelashes. So, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Yeah, anyway, before the video starts, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also turn on my bell notifications. That way, you get notified anytime I post a new video. So yeah let's just get into it okay so first off i already did my eyebrows off of camera just because they take too long to do on camera and i also already primed with the elf hydrating face primer because my skin is really dry right now so i like to use the hydrating one for foundation i'm going to be going in with this um, maybelline 24 hour foundation in the color classic ivory but for some reason, like, I, when you think of ivory, you think of really, really pale, you know? Any other shade that I get in ivory, it's always really, really pale. So that's why I got this, because I thought it was going to be pale, but it's so brown. Like, look at that. And when I put it on my face, I look so tan. So I'm like, I don't know if they messed up the label or if it's just weird. I don't know why it would be classic ivory if it's so tan. It's like more like a beige but yeah i love this foundation i just wish it was lighter um so that's why i'm mixing in my porcelain foundation with the from l'oreal true match i'm just going to be mixing these together a couple of pumps of that now this look is not going to be very dramatic it's going to be like an everyday makeup look that i like to do when i still want to look cute but i don't want to go all out with the eyeliner the eyeshadow all that you know it's not like crazy crazy the only thing really dramatic about this look is the lashes because if you know me you know i love dramatic eyelashes so yeah now i'm gonna go in with this one okay so now that i look like a crazy person with dots all over my face i'm gonna go in with my little damp sponge and just blend that out and now i'm gonna go in with my setting powder and um this fluffy brush and just put it all over my face to set my foundation and so i haven't did my makeup in like i haven't did nice makeup in a while like i've been so lazy to do nice makeup or look cute like literally it's a struggle i have like no energy right now i don't know i thought by my second trimester i would get more energy but no i'm still dead like i'm not as sick anymore which is great like i still throw up every now and then but I still have no energy. Now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline concealer for underneath my eyes, down my nose, forehead, and chin. But yeah, um, today, even though I didn't have that much energy, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna force myself to make a video. I'm gonna force myself to do my makeup. I'm gonna force myself to get cute today. You know? And I also wanna film like more like dramatic looks, like with colorful eyeshadow. Um, you know, stuff like that, like different eyeshadow looks and stuff. So that will be coming soon. But yeah, it's like, I just have had no energy this pregnancy. My vitamin D is low, so maybe that also has something to do with it. Because I know when that's low, um, it could cause you to feel extra fatigue. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. Um, it could cause you to feel extra fatigue. If your vitamin D is low, so maybe that's why, but I don't know. I've been taking vitamin D pills now, as well as my prenatals. But I still feel like I just wake up and still have no energy. Like, I could literally sleep all day, but obviously I can't because, you know, I have a one-year-old son. And another thing, he wakes up in the middle of the night still, like a lot. Like, at least three times a night he wakes up. And then he also wakes up super, super early at 7 o'clock in the morning every single day, sometimes 6. And it's like, bro, 
uh can you sleep in a little bit longer because i'm trying to sleep but yeah i really cannot wait until he starts sleeping throughout the night because it is a struggle to get up in the middle of the night three times a night and then wake up super super early and then on top of it being pregnant and having no energy already i know i'm literally gonna be like a zombie when baby girl comes like literally i'm gonna be like a zombie because i remember i was like a zombie when he was first born oh my god and then i was also breastfeeding so it was like and also pumping so it's like i had to pump every two hours even if he didn't wake up and i want to also breastfeed my daughter too i'm going to so i know i'm just gonna be super super drained super super tired but you gotta do what you gotta do i'm gonna get literally no sleep and then i know if my daughter wakes up she's gonna wake my son up and it's just gonna be like okay now both of them are awake and i gotta get them both back to sleep like i know it's gonna be so hard then i'm gonna go in with my elf bronzing palette and i'm gonna go in with the darkest color and i'm just gonna contour with that um but yeah so i'm honestly so scared to give birth like literally so scared like this pregnancy is going by fast for me because i'm like not wanting it to like like my first pregnancy went by so slow because i couldn't wait to meet my baby and like i still can't wait to meet my daughter but i'm so scared i want it to be prolonged as long as possible you know because i'm so scared like the first time i didn't know what i was getting myself into because i never gave birth before but now i know what i'm getting myself into and it is no fun like literally i do not want to go through giving birth again <sighs> like that was my biggest fear like I know some people have really really easy births and it's like nothing for them and they can go through birth without epidurals and all that i could not go through birth without epidural i could not like i still was in pain even with the epidural and the epidural only numbed like half of my body so the other half i still felt everything it was terrible and even the half that was numb you could still you know feel it was just not as bad but the epidural did help a lot i don't know how girls be going through birth without epidural i really don't and my mom literally gave birth to all three of us without epidural and my little sister she's only three years old so my mom so there's literally 18 years between me and my little sister and my mom was like 40 years old when she gave birth to my little sister and i'm like mom like you are 40 years old like you're fragile now you need to get that epidural nah her old ass still went without the epidural and i was like girl you is tough because my young ass could not even do that shit like i couldn't i'm literally just hoping that since this is my second time giving birth it's a little bit easier the pushing part at least because the first time like the, the contractions and everything like i honestly could handle the contractions i was in labor over 24 hours with contractions and they were no joke but like i always have like really bad period cramps and this and that and i had and that's what contractions feel like really really bad period cramps so like i could handle the contractions especially with the epidural but when it got to the pushing part I know most people say the contractions are the worst part but for me it was totally different totally different i don't know if my baby just had a big head or what i mean he did have a big head so maybe that was what but i'm gonna go in with that same bronzer color and just put it on my lid um but yeah my baby did have a big head so maybe that's why it took so long to push him out but literally i was pushing for three hours and i was so exhausted and since i was in labor for over 24 hours like i didn't get any sleep like i could not fall asleep i could not so like i was awake for over 24 hours hadn't had any sleep hadn't had anything to eat i was so exhausted and then on top of that i was pushing for three hours i wanted to give up so bad like literally i was pushing for three hours and his head was there like we could see his head for three hours and she was like you know what like 
you're gonna push him out like I already see his head I see his hair blah 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 and so I'm thinking it's not gonna be that long no like literally I was pushing for three hours and I was like what the heck like when is he gonna come out I didn't think I could do it like I kept telling my like my mom was on one side of me my boyfriend was on the other side and I was like I don't think I could do it I don't think I could do it I was like I can't do this I can't do this like after a few hours of pushing and they were like yes yes you can like keep trying like he's almost there but I was like can you guys just please cut him out of me like I can't do this like I was literally had nothing left in me <sighs> that's why I'm hoping this time around like pushing is easier like they literally had to make me do tug of war and everything with them the nurses I had to do tug of war with them to like get good pushes out and stuff and my nurse told me I was pushing good like she told me I was pushing good so the whole time I guess I was pushing good but it still took three hours like so I'm hoping this time it's a little bit easier since it's my second baby like hopefully I get her out in a few pushes because I hear stories of girls just coming out in like three pushes and I'm like it took me three hours like oh my gosh that was the hardest thing ever I'm gonna go in with some mascara just like a light coat since we're gonna be putting on lashes and um so yeah, I'm really hoping it's easier this time around because that's what I'm scared of. <sighs> but yeah, And then I'm also really, really terrified because I'm going to be giving birth in a different hospital than the first hospital I gave birth in. My insurance is totally different this pregnancy than it was the first pregnancy. I have a totally different OBGYN, totally different everything. And it's just like really scary. Like I really wish I could give birth in the same hospital, have the same doctor. Like it would make me feel so much more comfortable, but you know now i'm gonna be going in with these eyelashes i got them from aliexpress they come in a pack of five and they're literally so bomb like so bomb for the price they come with five and they're only two dollars five lashes that are so bomb like they're not even cheap looking at all then i'm gonna go in with the duo lash glue in the color clear since i'm not gonna be wearing eyeliner today when i do wear eyeliner i use the black one this Maybelline concealer sorry if you hear my son in the back he's fighting his sleep right now but he needs to take a nap because he's so cranky I'm gonna go in with my make it dewy um, setting spray from Milani and just spray I'm gonna go in with this highlighter but yeah like I said I really hope this time is easier than the first time giving birth even though I'm like so nervous about giving birth in a new hospital with a new doctor and I'm really hoping they have that button um, like at my the last hospital I gave birth at, they had this button that if I wanted more epidural to go up in my spine, all I had to do was keep pressing that button and it would reload more epidural in my spine. And like that came in handy a lot. I really hope they have that little button so I could just be like more epidural. I'm gonna go in with this Kylie lip gloss, Co cocoa gloss. that I wasn't really able to do a proper outro and like show you the finished look and everything the last step that I did I just put a highlight in my inner corner and on my um, brow bone my son was throwing the biggest tantrum just because he is so cranky because he hasn't napped and he was fighting his sleep so he was throwing the biggest tantrum so I had to cut the video short but this is the finished look I don't know if you guys can see yeah so i did finish the look like i said everything's pretty every day you could wear this everyday look the only thing that is pretty dramatic is the lashes but i like dramatic lashes so but yeah make sure you guys like share and subscribe and turn on that bell notification that way you guys get notified anytime i post a new video and yeah thank you guys for watching